I know it's not going to be everyone's choice and definitely not an essential, but we've got used to using Amazon's Alexa to make our life easier when we're at home. So why not when we're away traveling too? So Alexa, what are we going to see in this episode? In this video, we will share how you can get Alexa working in your van and some examples of how we use it. Don't miss any of our regular videos by hitting that subscribe button now. You can also check out our website at explorevan.uk for more details on our vans, trips and all the products we talk about. Before we start, I am going to say the A word a lot during this video. So if you have an Amazon device in the room where you're watching, then you might want to press the mute button now. First of all, here are a few ways Alexa comes in handy for us. Alexa, play my camper van playlist. Camper van from Spotify. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Alexa, remind me to fill up the water in the morning. At what time? 7 a.m. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 7 a.m. Alexa, put gin on the shopping list. I added gin to your shopping list. Alexa, put clean the fridge on my to-do list. Clean the fridge added to your to-do list. Alexa, what's my flash brief? Here's your news from BBC News. Alexa, set the lights to 10. Okay. This uses a cheap Wi-Fi controller attached to our LED lights. And because we have an Amazon Fire Stick on our TV, we can do this. Alexa, play Expedition Overland. Getting Expedition Overland from Prime Video. It took years. But slowly, weekend trip after weekend trip... Now let's look at the different ways you can add Alexa to your van. The obvious way is to install an Amazon Echo device. There are pros and cons to each model that we've tried. They all need a Wi-Fi connection, so rely on our 4G Wi-Fi, which you can see more details of by clicking up here. Out of the box, not having batteries, they all need to be wired to power. First, there is the Echo Dot Generation 2. These are available cheaply secondhand, or you may have one lying around. They're very lightweight. One great advantage is they are USB powered, so you can just plug them into any USB socket. The speaker isn't great for music, but it easily links to a Bluetooth speaker, and we've used it with our Bose SoundLink. We've also tried the Echo Dot Generation 3. This is a bit heavier, but does have a much better speaker than the Generation 2. They're 12 volt powered, so you would need either a USB step-up regulator or a 12 volt regulated lead. It can be used to get a Bluetooth speaker again, and as a Bluetooth speaker, so pairing your phone to it is possible. However, you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi to do the first Bluetooth pairing. To make it more portable, you can add third-party battery packs to stop the need to keep it permanently connected to power. The full-sized Echo Generation 3 is bigger and heavier again, but more powerful and has better sound quality. This is powered by 15 volts, so you would need to use a voltage converter or a book boost to boost it from the 12 volt source to a 15 volt. Again, it can be used as a Bluetooth speaker, but is limited by needing external power and the need for Wi-Fi to establish the Bluetooth link. You can use the Bluetooth voice remote on an Amazon Fire Stick. However, to get the voice response from Alexa, you either have to have your TV on or the Fire Stick connected to a Bluetooth speaker. Add crisps to the shopping list. Crisps added to your shopping list. A really simple but not ideal option is to use the Alexa functionality in the Alexa app from your phone. In addition to Amazon owned devices, you can get third party devices with Alexa built in. Here are the ones we've tried. 
First we've got an Ultimate Ears Blast, which is actually our go-to device, and we really recommend it. It's a rugged, waterproof Bluetooth speaker with built-in Alexa when it's connected to Wi-Fi. It's portable with 12 hours battery life and rechargeable from USB. The quality is great with 360 degree sound, and it's comparable to our Bose SoundLink for volume and quality. Alexa, play summer chill. Various chilled R&B summer classics from Spotify. A budget conscious but great value for money option is the Apollo Voice Bluetooth speaker. Available from around £30, this doesn't rely on a Wi-Fi network but utilises your phone's data connection, so it has to be paired to a phone which has a data connection and also has the Amazon Alexa app signed in on it. With this one, you do have to press the Alexa button on the speaker for it to respond. The sound quality is pretty good for the size and great for the cost. It is highly portable and waterproof. Play Virgin Radio. Virgin Radio from TuneIn. People in crowded rooms. So our current choice, after using the Echo Dot Generation 2 with our Bose sound link for some time, we've simplified things with the Ultimate Ears Blast. Only having to carry one device and working seamlessly as an Alexa when we have Wi-Fi, but also as a great Bluetooth speaker when away from the van, we love it. If you're in the early stages of looking for a van, you'll love our next video where we look at the different choices of vans, how you should make your decision, whether that's a van, a pre-converted conversion, or even an off-the-shelf camper van. And we'll share ways you can avoid getting scammed, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching our video, and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share, and consider subscribing.